dangerous standoff at a Danvers trailer park is over. The suspect is in custody. I-team sources tell WBZ the suspect was shooting at police, and we have just confirmed that a woman was shot immediately before the standoff began. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Danvers. And Louisa, this was a terrifying few hours, which also involved shutting down Route 1. Well, Lisa, it took place right at this trailer park here behind me, and it included the shutdown of Route 1 South over here, about a half mile of it, that perimeter set up by state police. Thankfully, from, it took about two hours from the time that first call came in for an active shooter till the man was taken into custody. Finally, a dangerous situation came to an end when this man surrendered to police coming out of his trailer to an armored vehicle and throngs of police. He was put on a stretcher and loaded into an ambulance and to get here took patience and a mass of law enforcement. It's kind of scary. Trailers are like aluminum cans. If they fire a shot, it's going to go through like six of them. Glad I wasn't there. Police responded to a shooting at this trailer park off Route 1 South in Danvers. Sources tell our I team they found an injured woman who was med flighted to a nearby hospital. Sky Eye video shows then a car speeding through the mobile home park and the woman being put into an ambulance. When police got here, sources tell our I team the man inside the mobile home started shooting at them. They responded with a show of force. Never seen anything like it. It's crazy. SWAT teams filled the park. The man's window was broken and a drone was flown nearby. Officers could also be seen helping people out of their homes. And Route 1 South, right on the Danvers Peabody line, was shut down. Finally, the man gave himself up and no police were injured. It was the best possible outcome. But one neighbor who lives across from the man told us he could have seen this coming. He's crazy. He's been in and out of jail for almost all his life. The safe police say that female victim is in critical but stable condition at a Boston hospital. Live in Danvers, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.